Welcome back to Cave Story, everybody! So, we gotta escape from the labyrinth today. This part's pretty cool, because we got Curly on our side, and she'll actually help us out. Also, try to power up your missile launcher in this area. Because there's another boss fight coming up later, and it very much helps to have your missiles powered up for that. So it actually is going back and destroying all of these things. Oh, okay. Thanks for that. Oh, these guys are the worst. Because they can deflect your shots, and it's impossible to deflect theirs. Yeah, level 2 missile launcher. Thank you, Curly. You're a gem. Alright. Thank you, Curly. Yeah, these knife throwers are just the worst. You can't block their knives. Even with your knife. Actually, forget knives. I've got a sword! Oh, yeah. I used that to uh, level up my sword because it was about to fall back to level 1. And I actually really use this sword a lot. Ow. Now I gotta be really careful. Now I gotta be less careful, but I still can't afford to hit any of the spikes now. This is really catchy music, though. Wee! But with only 9 HP, I really don't want to have to use my life jar here. I'd like to not have to use my life jar until the next boss fight. Because we don't get a life computer for the next boss fight. Also, you'll notice Curly has the underwater shield. I mean, that's just so she can't drown herself. Ow. Yeah, we don't want a level 3 sword. Well, I guess a level 3 sword is what we get, though. Hi, Kane. Actually, a level 3 sword is actually fairly useful against the next boss. Thank you, Kane! Alright, gotta backtrack a bit. Follow me, Curly. Ah, oh, rats. That is a tough jump to make. Okay, we have to use the upper platform. And I've got to say, Cur when I was doing the Curly story, Quote was not a very good partner. That's the name of our little robot, Quote. Whereas in he this one, Curly's being a very nice partner. Oh no, not the knife throwers again. Ow. 
Ow. Forgot. I didn't see those there. Ow. That's not good. There's a button. You press it. Sayonara. Ah, oh, darn it! The stupid spikes. Thought I moved out of their way. Well, guess what? We get to do the entire thing over again. Also be careful that certain guns you don't want to level down, like your missile launcher. Levels down very easily, and it's a little difficult to level back up. Take that. Plus 20, thank you very much. Thank you. I like it when they spawn pickups that I can actually, well, pick up. I don't like it how the game can drop you hearts and missiles when you don't even need them. Mainly missiles. I very rarely need missiles, but yet those are a pretty common pickup. This is a good place to farm EXP, though. Boom. Oh, Dana, we're almost up to full HP as well. Oh, this is the best! Yeah, if we can just if we just keep throwing Keen here, he'll be slowly da damaging the big thing every time he damages one of the little things. Oh, sweet. Take a bit of gulp of air. <sighs> All right. Yeah, Keen's not very good against the bosses, but against the common enemies, oh, is he good? Yeah? Alright. So there's a teleporter here. And if you've got the machine gun, this gives you a nice little shortcut. But since we don't... It's not. It's actually an immense long cut if you go down there and take that save point. You have to do all of this completely over again. Oh, no. So that's where that goes. Just thought I'd show that off. Curly, where are you? Take that. In your face. Give me my heart. There's Curly. You gotta follow me. Okay, we're at the end. Nice thing is, even if you're low on HP, you can farm HP fairly easily off of these fans. They're not too hard. And they drop a lot of free stuff.
38 HP, that's great. Thank you, Kane. All right. Through here. Ho oh, ho. Are we still in the labyrinth? We can't pass through here. We're gonna have to keep moving forward. Oh man. You hear the sound of running water from the other side. You'd be able to pass through if the grates weren't in the way. Yeah, this next boss fight is one of the most intense in the game. This is a strange place. Was it some kind of base? Open blast door? Yeah. Opening blast door. Blast door number four, currently malfunctioning. Well, that's not good. We can walk through it still, though. This blast door, it's only opened halfway. I think it must be caught on something. Look at that. Thank you, Polar Star. You hear the sound of something breaking free. Blast door after blast door. There's something behind all this crazy security. Don't you think so, too? I do. So if we go back up to this computer, lower lift, yes. Lift lowered. All this water when we have a limited air tank, not good. Open blast door? Yeah, you betcha. Blast door opened. Alright, before we go and take on the boss in there, we are going to go back and save. Because I really don't want to have to pull this all off again if I happen to die on the boss. And the boss has an attack that can deal, I believe, 20 damage. Which is a lot. That's more than 50% of our HP. Also, level 3 sword, level 2 sword, and max level missile launcher are really good against this guy. Also, if you are trying to get the best ending, before talking to Curly, go over here. See that sparkle? Get it. There's something wrapped around a broken robot's arm. Will you take it? Yes. We get the tow rope. Believe me, you'll be sorry if you didn't get this after this boss fight. I'm just going to say it now. And this is the only time in the game you can get it. As soon as the boss fight appears, that disappears. Look! A soldier from the surface? He's been nearly destroyed. There are others like this one all over the place. Who did this? It couldn't have been in a Mimiga. How could this happen? It's still functional! Rebooting. Team 9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible with currently equipped firepower. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, this is, does not bode well. And Curly, unfortunately, can't help us for this fight. Yep, welcome to the fight against this abomination. And yeah, you can see just how amazing his missile, uh, super missiles are. Also, this boss fight can, or this boss can control the um, water level. Oh yeah, look at how much damage I'm doing with those missiles. We actually want to back up occasionally so we can make sure it doesn't retreat into the wall. Yeah, he's pushing me back with the water current. Oh yeah, that sound. Those orbs deal massive damage. Avoid them at all costs. Thank you, Super Missiles. This is one fight I actually am grateful when there are missile drops in. Oh, this is bad. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of air. Oh, no. Oh, no. Darn it! 
That's why I saved beforehand. Yeah, it is extremely easy to drown in that fight if you happen to fall in the water at just the wrong time and then he raises the tide so you can't get to the top fast enough. That is bad. Make sure we get the tow rope again. I forgot, actually, Curly does help you out in this boss fight, just not right away. The music here is so ominous. Also, the music that plays during this boss fight, it's the only time in the entire game that the music plays. Thanks for the missiles. Uh-oh. Yep, that's kind of what happened last time, except I didn't get the gulp of breath, fresh air that I needed before the tide rose. Out of my way. I am Odysseus, son of Laertes. I know that's a reference a lot of people won't get. Come on, water. <laughs> oh, boy! No, no! Oh, yeah. See, minus 20. Don't overdo it with the missiles, because if you do, eventually he'll just shut his mouth and then it will deal zero damage. And nobody wants to do zero damage. Yeah, you will notice most of the times I'm coming close to dying is because I'm almost drowning. Uh oh, out of missiles. That's not good. Okay, when he pushes you back, he'll get ready to do his super powerful attack. Just fair warning. Okay, this is not good. I am I'm not out of missiles, but I'm getting very close to being out of missiles. Ah, oh, darn it. There we go. You did it. That's the same witch who zapped me! Are those children safe? Shut it! Don't act like you're a mother! Do you even know what this fiend is? Huh? This is the reason why I hate robots! This is the heart of the island! The island will fall if this stops! Do you really want to die along with the island? You stupid fool! Misery! What are you doing? Move the core to the lab now! While we still have time! Whoa! Oh boy. And now the room completely floods with water, and we are totally screwed because we can't escape. Curly. Ah. Losing consciousness. Did you know the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balos. Like his older sister, he had magical powers unlike anyone could imagine. Huh? You can breathe. Oh, man. Curly just gave us her air shield and left herself to drown instead of us. No reply. She's not moving, but appears to still be alive. Will you use the tow rope? Yep. Wrap the tow rope around Curly. Because guess what? If you don't have the tow rope, you can't carry her, and it is not there. And as soon as you leave, that shuts. So essentially, if you don't get the tow rope, Curly dies. 
which you don't want because Curly's awesome. Make sure you save there. Now we can go to the waterway. Alright, so we need to get Curly to basically a safe house, which is, there is a safe house along this way, but it is really hard to get. It requires a ridiculously precise jump, and if you miss it, you can't get it. So now I'm trying to level up everything again, and get HP, well not everything, and get missiles. I actually am cool with any drop, enemy drops. I like HP the most, though. Because I can d totally deal with the level 1 sword. But yeah, that boss, if you don't if you don't use your super missiles wisely, it is very hard to take out. Because my other weapons, like the Polar Star, barely damage it at all. Yes, these things are spikes. Avoid them. Also, if we go up here. If we go up here. Hidden hearts there. And also, because we've got this air shield, we can never drown. Of course, we really don't want Curly to go underwater any more than she has to. Yeah, this is where the it gets hard, because we've got all these currents pushing us around everywhere. And holding the jump button makes it push you around faster and farther. Alright, what we want to do is hold the left and jump, and then we can go this way. Oh, yes. Okay, this is this part, this part, right up there, right through there, this is where the safe house is. Oh, first try, you don't even know how hard that is. Alright, do you want to rest? Yes, and put Curly down. Text is displayed on screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. Nothing of interest. The notebook is covered in dust. Open the notebook? Yes. Robots ma manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic mobility. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short-circuiting. Below are instructions on how to service flooded robots. Learned how to service flooded robots. Excellent. Flooded systems will begin to a reboot process automatically after using the above method of draining. Drain the water from Curly? Yes. Get all of that out of there. Uh, you're safe! Oh, I'm so glad! I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Uh, she fell asleep. The restart process will take some time to complete. Talk to her again. Would you like to leave her here? No. Pick her up, and we will get out of here in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.